imagine you're gonna drive your right elbow to the mat and you're gonna pull your left elbow to the sky. You see that? So that? It, then, that? this choke, is choke this is what I was talking about. Like sometimes we squeeze the darts yeah, so it's, and we tap them. It's we choke them. This way. But this is kind yeah, of like a it's way. a gi choke. Yeah, you're you're taking your way. arm and yeah, cutting it like a gi. And and what's gi. funny about this too, because it is like a gi, is sometimes a guy if you guys haven't experienced this before, we're all no gi guys now, but but if you haven't experienced a gi choke before, sometimes you don't even feel it, you just pass out. Like the, 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 when the material cuts your carotid, it's, it still feels a little different than a, than the, um, you know, the squeeze of a rear naked choke or a, uh, you know, arm triangle choke where you just feel like tons of pressure on your neck. And it, sometimes you're this just there. And if that bone hits that carotid perfectly, you just pass out and you get that effect a little bit, but you also get the severing of your head effect where it cranks the shit out of your neck. And a lot of people go, man, then they want to tell you, hey, you didn't choke me. That was a neck crank. <laughs> like, like your technique's bad. But you know what? If, we, if we're in fighting, we're com competing, we just want to win. It's a part of the game. Neck cranks are allowed too. So guess what? If you tapped, yeah. you know, you tapped. But uh, you see, like, vice grip, pinch it off. I got some ample weight on him so the guy can't move his left arm, right? I lift his head and I dip to shoot it. This is when we were, I looked at the Holland fight with Shemaev. Sometimes when you're so lanky, you just go, I can lock it. You see that? And I got a bone on his neck. Like I got this right here. But there's, he's so lanky that there's a big hole space right here. And, and Rasik, I'm not as lanky as, as Shemaev, but open your left elbow. No, 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 not that way. Not, yeah, just. just no, no, just kind of elbow that way. Yeah, just raise your elbow. You, you don't have to stick your arm out, elbow. Like me. Oh. Yeah, you see what's happening? You now have a ton of space right here. You yeah. feel that? Yeah. So if, if this can still finish you, if I can cut that side good enough, but it's not effective. It's not what we really want. Because now I gotta squeeze really hard. I gotta fight really hard. But if I can lift, your head and you see what happened to your arm? And now when I come back, now right here, try to open your left elbow. So now, uh, to answer your question, Jesse, now if I do some type of securing of leg or mouth, you know, right here, try to move. And you see like, now I'm just gonna pull my right elbow. So I'm going like, I'm saw pulling that thing out, but it is still squeezing. That's one way, or you can just do the squeeze. You know, if you wanna, if you get it deep, you can just pressure the guy and give him more of a, it's more like an arm triangle kind of squeeze. You're just squeezing. They all work. I just give variation so you can find what you like. One guy's gonna like one way. Jason's gonna like another way. You're gonna like another way. Like, you gotta have variety because, you know, it's, that's art, right? It's art, you're not just, painting the picture the way I want to paint it or the way Jason wants to paint it. You get to be your own. You get oh, to you paint you it real to... quick. Watch. Go. Like, no, if I catch the, this guy in this situation. Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Coach Brian here, and I'm here to tell you about Suplez. Guys, the best dummies in the world for training. You want to get good at throws like Jesse? You need a Suplez speed dummy. You gotta get one for yourself. Go to petersongrapplers.com and get your own speed dummy. And, and of course, you know, uh, his defense is to bring his elbow down and make that pocket like that, okay? Uh, a fun one is, you know, once you get to this position, as long as my weight is down on him, I kinda have some moments to move. If I, I have a handle here on the, on the back of his head, right? But, but the real magic happens right here if you catch it from over there. Uh, the, the, the elbow here, if it's down this way, it stops from cutting off that carotid, right? 
Uh, and if I just hang out here and, and battle uh, deltoid on deltoid, you know, yeah, it's, it's not really gonna be. But if I hula hoop that joker like this, huh? And yeah. Yeah. So you catch that little detail? What, what he did is he pulled my elbow away from my body, so I'm weak. And I, yeah, and I, I know it's just, it's this leverage, you know? I'm at the end of the seesaw right here. My, my elbow comes up tight. But of course, he's gonna try to escape. Defend, please. Yeah. Here and let go for a second. I have the handle down here. And yeah. You know, it makes a robotic defense, defense. Yeah. Yeah, once, once he brought my, my arm up like this, then he then re-shoots it. And now yeah. look where my arm is, like this. Instead of like where Holland and Shemaev were, and he was just kind of just squeezing, but the elbow's way up here. It's so much effort. So it's like, it's kind of pulls here. Katami, uh, backwards. Right, you know? yeah, yep. Okay, you guys ready? You get that? You get that? All right, let's go, ready? All right, there's a little more mayhem. The mayhem never stops. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And we'll see you guys next time with more good stuff.